And let's head back up. Let's go. Now, I'm just looking. Um, my goal this time is to uh, get done, I think, not just hang out at Brittle Hollow, because we still have a few things we can do there, I think. Um, oh man, this game is just so crazy. I just want to stay focused and get things going. Let's grab our suit. Just hop in and start get, getting just like right at it. So, there we are. And let's see. Do, oh, I love when I do that. Oh, I got a, a trophy. Lovely. You have to be careful about that. <laughs> Okay, once again, let's go. I have a few things I want to like just explore, um, but we have some music coming from the surface of Brittle Hollow. We also have something else we're supposed to be able to check out at the Quantum Tower. I wonder if we can do that before it even goes, um, like through the black hole. So let's actually check that real quick. Where are you, Brittle? There you are. Now we're gonna lock on, move away. And now we can... Some false starts. Now if we don't get hit by one of these rocks... <laughs> and uh, I am interested in heading back and going to the stranger and pursuing the DLC a little more. I just feel like all these things I think have context with each other. Um, so we should... Uh, we should kind of figure that out. So, like, do them all at... So that was our way... Down here. We also, we have the Southern Observatory. Um... Why do I always hit that? Yes. We can... Surface integrity, 100%. Okay. Okay, so this is underneath. Where do I want to go? I'm looking for a few different things. If we can. Oh my god. Why am I... What am I stuck on? So crazy, guys. There it is. Oh my god. Okay, well this isn't getting us anywhere we need to go. Autopilot cockpit damage, that's fine. Um, where's the... Oh, 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 we'll do it. Let's go. take what we can get. Look what we found. Um, let's get the signal scope out. Ryback. I'm so happy to have a conversation. Oh, you launched. That's great. Great job. Oh, wow. I guess that means I've been out here a while. Huh. Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. A lot of history here. It's great. What are you doing here, Ryback? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes, ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in the solar system long before the species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You've uh, probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anyone that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell, tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity, so I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? Hey, that'd be... yeah. 
Um, I learned. Uh, let's start with I learned something. Oh, cool. Um, what is it? I found the Nomai escape pod on Brittle Hollow. Wow. So then the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system, and they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? And where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about how and why the Nomai arrived here. We can also go back to um, the, the water planet and talk to that guy there at some point and share with him the stuff we've learned. How about I learned something else? Let's go. What all have we learned? I saw the old settlement. Isn't it amazing? Hard to believe the settlement is still standing, but there it is. It really makes you appreciate living somewhere like Timber Hearth. You know, somewhere that isn't being constantly bombarded with meteors and rocks and stuff. Yeah, I think we can t dig that. Um, what else did we learn? I saw the Hanging City on Brittle Hollow. You visited the Hanging City. Oh gosh, how was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? A um, little bit of all of those. The Hanging City is where the Numai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement here. Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to a you-know-what is beyond me, Black Hole. Maybe the kind of thing makes sense to an Omai, though. Maybe they needed the Black Hole for something. Yes, and I don't know that we can make it to the... I think that we have to do a bunch of things in sequence. It's going to be crazy when we get to it. Like, So we can... We have to operate the black hole forge, but then we can't get there. Maybe we do that, and then there's a way to fast travel and back through. I can't... Once again, this is a replay for me of this game, and I'm just rediscovering it, and then we're incorporating in the DLC. But I don't remember stuff, and don't spoil it for me, because I, I want to, like, refigure it all out as we go through here anyway. Um, I found Nomai writing about a quantum pilgrimage. A pilgrimage to the quantum moon. The Nomai mentioned the quantum moon in a lot of their writing. So it was clearly special to them, and um, special enough to make a trip there by themselves. It sounds like a coming-of-age ritual, like how hatchlings stay hatchlings until their stomachs are strong enough to drink sap wine. Maybe once a Nomai journeyed to the quantum moon, they were considered an adult. Okay. Speaking of which, we might be able to try to get to the moon. Okay, let's talk again. Hi, what's up? Oh. Where should I explore here? Oh wow, where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the black hole actually, that's very no. Which is unfortunate because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the hanging city. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the south pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface, trust me, I tried, but if, if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures, Here's here. There's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. That's where we have to get to. The southern structure. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear about it. If it's not too much trouble. What are you doing out here? Me? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Or um, the, archeo the archaeologist, I guess, seeing as I'm all Timberhearth Scott right now. Brittle Hollow is rich with Nomai history. That's why I'm here. The planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If you have any questions about the Brittle Hollow, no my, I'm your Harthian. Or, um, I have some knowledge of them. I mean, maybe I can help. Okay, well, ship log updated, indeed. So there's the... Okay. Oh, is that our ship? That's our ship. Let's come looking around out this way. See what we run into. Oh. Oh. While things are still together, I... Now, I have it... I think I have it set that, um... While we're talking, time freezes. So we might... Have time to do something here? Oh. What do we find here? Oh, to the southern structure. Oh, we can get to the southern structure... Um, through the middle from the uh, the launch from the shuttle spot oh you know what though what are these the hanging city north 
Is this south? Let's head to this one. Gravity cannon east. Oh, there's the gravity cannon. How do we get... From the gravity cannon, we can get to the south? And is this... What are we checking? Which surface integrity? All of it? I'm so confused, guys. Oh, here we go. Gravity crystal workshop above. Let's, um... Feel like trying to make it so confusing, isn't it? I just want to explore anything and everywhere we can. Oh my god. That's okay, we fell. I think what we do is, since we saw that map, we try to um, head south from the gravity cannon. But this thing, I think, fell apart last time we made it to the city, so we're going to see here. Our ship was kind of messed up last time anyway, so... Now, yeah, this is where we went. To the Hanging City. I feel like this just broke, though, so that's why we couldn't make it any further. So is this, you know, are we retreading? Yeah. So, not where I want to be, actually. Let's see where... We are in the north. How do we get to the southern? That's the cannon. That piece is falling off. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. I love the music. Okay, again, though. Are we in the center here? There are different ways around and different things we can do. I just don't know how to get there. Oh! That's north. That's up, that's down. Let's see where this takes us. Is this to the surface? We made it up somewhere. Oh, let's turn on our light. How about that? Okay, so we're right down there. Let's just explore. Let's just explore. We'll find out what we run into or not. It's a gravity cannon. We just want lore. We want to add. We've already added a few things, so... Three minutes of oxygen remaining. That is okay. So this is... to the cannon. If we could look and figure out where we'd want to go from here... We are... we want to face... we want to go that way. Hold on. Is this to the southern of the observatory? The crossroads. We have our map. At least we have our spherical map on us kind of thing. I feel like... We might run out of air here, but that's okay. How do we get to the Southern Observatory? Oh, 
Oh, up there. I see. No, we're screwed now. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, we're out here. That's fine. Such is life. Also, yeah, that's uh, that's somewhere I want to hit. Um, let's see. What do we do here? We're out of. We're gonna run out of air. I don't think we can actually go into the white hole. Sixty seconds of oxygen. You know what? I say. I almost say we just stick with it. We could try to get in here. And maybe warp? Oh. Oh. You know what? Maybe... Was I wrong? Is there... How are we doing this? So tricky. I think we're going to get our oxygen. So, there are different ways to go. So that's what we just hit, right? So this thing is, is that, where's that going? Okay, so that's back to Brittle Hollow. But I don't necessarily want to go back to Brittle Hollow yet. Or do I? Wasn't there a switch over on here? Oh, yeah. So did that just get it turning? I guess there's only one way to go then, right? Riddle Hollow. So let's see. That's not going to take us to the um to the black hole, is it? It's going to take us onto the surface. Yes, indeed. So crazy. All right, well, I think what we want to do then is just, oh, man, if we could make it to get something else fun done on this one, but I just don't know. There's our quantum. Let's just go on the surface for a minute. We're going to be out of fuel in a minute. What is this? Are these places we've been? I'm trying to remember. Oh, no. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, descend. The steps to the entrance below the knowledge within will help you on your journey. Ah, guys, this might be the stuff we needed to know anyway. The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire planet, roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. And I've never seen see them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, Record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant, aberrant, there we go, or my brain must be, like my brain. Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess, I didn't notice until I read his notes. So, um, feel like, were we trying to get up there? Right. So it's quantum, right? Oh, did we not read this one? Hold on. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There's other matter in this area, such as that 
unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason too, Thatch. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis from Felix. This rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? Yes, the quantum. So, but can I... I don't... I don't think I can make it up there. Where's the closest spot I can make it up to? Oh, I can. This is excellent, guys. Uh, Plume, Felix, and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. The only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this groves are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions the strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis. This quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Felix, of note, a, a unique signal is coming from the shard. Curiously, our friend's friend, the wandering moon, sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal the shard produces coming from Giant Steep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one, so... Um, right, Tower Shard. Signal identified, got it. Okay, well... Interestingly enough, let's, um, let's head down. I wonder if we've found everything there is to find about this place. Southern Observatory. How do we get to the Southern Observatory from here? Okay. Now, where's this going? This is going down? Oh, because we want to get up here, which we did. And then we could go down and up. Um, Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I want to go to the Southern Observatory. Can we get there from this tower? Okay, so this is all broken. That's our problem. I think. So we're going to fast travel back here to try to get to the... Uh... So that's reversing that. We have this here, though. Okay. Well, while we're at it here, we are almost out. Do I have one more jump? Man, I I just stumbled my way through this uh this round here very very effectively in my mind. So crazy. We're just going to head back this way. Oh, did we never read this? Be welcome to this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. We may have, actually. And what is this? Wait, where's this going? The Crossroads. So this would take us to the Crossroads. Which are kind of... Look at this. So all this jumping around. I feel like our timing is going crazy. So if we don't run out of oxygen, we can look around and see. Music's kicking. Hmm. Let's just hang out for a second. In fact, um, I'll give a little jump here as soon as we start falling, I think. 
Oh, there we go. Fun that we're doing it from this side now. What? What? I don't get it. What happened here? Why, why did we... We lost track? Where's our tower? Fuel depleted. Now we're just using oxygen. Let's just do it. Get as close as we can. Let's just have fun with this. Finish up here. And then we're going to head back. We're going to go straight to... Cutting it close. What is that? Use your suit's oxygen in an ill-advised manner. We've gotten some achievements. I love it. I want to hit. The, I want to find our way to the southern observatory now, and read up on whatever else we had. Oh, it's so beautiful. We could. I didn't want to wait out our time. All right. Let's look at, back at all we've accomplished. And let's see if if they claim we have anything else we're supposed to learn from the quantum tower, but I don't think so. Unless we missed it last time, you know, like trying to get up in there, but Oh, oh, we saw the quantum moon on that one. All right. And you ship log. Okay, so what did we get here? We had the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. We don't have anything new. We got the Quantum Shard going. A name, uh, a strange rock shard that wanders when no one is watching. The Nomai determine the shard is the reason objects in the grove behave in a quantum manner. The Nomai hypothesized that the shard is actually a piece of the quantum moon. The shard emits the same signal as the quantum moon. Quantum signal. The Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on the hourglass twins. Quantum moon, quantum shrine. Okay, so all this is quantum relating. Let's find over here. Um, Rybeck's camp. Rybeck has set up camp at the bottom of the crossroads. Their excitement at... So we, we made it to the crossroads somehow, right? Their excitement at being surrounded by so much Nomai history is matched only by their terror of the black hole. Rybeck is a timber heart, is Timberhearth's only archaeologist. They overcame their fear of space to explore Bitter Hollow's treasure trove of Nomai culture. Now... By the way, yeah, so... Feldspar, Dark Brambles, Feldspar, um, Southern Observatory is where we want to hit. Rybeck says that you can't get into the observatory from the surface. They tried, but there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Sure, and that's where we're going to hear about the ocean current and discover some info there. Um, oh, and then here we are off on the stranger. We're coming for it, guys. Like, it's there, but you see what I'm saying? Like, I just want to, I want to play around a bit. The angler fish, so all yeah, that's um the black hole forge. There are no other rumors at the moment. Let's just uh get out of here. I believe I also have it set so time freezes whenever we're uh Yes. This is right here. Oh. I need to I almost screwed up, guys. Should be at far enough away now. Okay. So we could get to it from a few different ways. From what I thought it said. Um, if this takes too much. Southern Observatory. Okay. But. We were supposed to be able to get to it from... Well, they told us we could get to it through the this the cannon area too. So let's try that one first. Let's 
Let's just get out. Let's go for a ride. Right? Let's go, go, go. We're facing south almost this way. Oh, what do you have? The Southern Observatory. Now we just turn it on, right? Before everything breaks. Let's go. Oh, this is crazy. Is this the right way? I don't know. Oh, damn it. My hands are so sweaty. I think so. Do we try to jump here? I think so. Everything's timing on this. Is this it? Oh no, we gotta jump up, don't we? I don't like it. You guys... I think we made it. We have to make it up into there. Okay. Can we... Can we do it? Oh no, there's broken ones. Oh my god. I don't like any of this. This is just too much. My hands are all sweaty. How do I... How do we make it across? I don't get it. I feel like, do we have to... We have to make it up there. It's too much. It's too much. Timed puzzles, you know, the anxiety of trying to get it all figured out. Okay, can we... I'm so, so stoked, you guys. Look at this. First of all, let's uh, pop the store for fun. I think we have time to do what we want. Oh, we'll be headed that way. That's the, um, that's the outside. Okay. Giant's Deep Projections. So we've probably seen this. This is the factory that keeps going up and underwater. Yep, we were here. Man, this, this connects a thread. Let's do some reading. Uh, Kasava, Con Conoy, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe canning components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Kano, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon component to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Here we go. Kasava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using our other cannon parts, but we were very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Southern at Brittle Hollow's southern 
observatory and it reveals how an object might sink below the current which we i knew i remembered and we tried it last time it's that some spin one way and some spin the other way i think that's what we're going to learn here but there's more to learn here um cassava i'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool if i visited the observatory would you kindly explain if you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the south pole i'd be delighted to see you there are two trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Cannon and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. All right. Here we go. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Oh my god, there's a bunch of stuff above us. We gotta go get to that. Man, and yeah, this is loud. Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant Steep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update, it's now clear there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on Giant Steep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Cassava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude, Spire. Kanoi is showing me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by this secondary type of cyclone. But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? A model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant Steep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. Well, who doesn't like models, right? Is there a scroll to remove? Okay, here's the stairway. Oh, I'm so stoked, guys. I accomplished so far everything I've wanted to on these uh, these runs. It, it's nerve-wracking to me. It causes me a little bit of anxiety trying to, like, do this stuff and time it. And let's, um... Oh, so there's all types of models, planet stuff. Let's uh, get our reading done. We have learned thus far what we've learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe. Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye's signal to the star system, but were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Adel Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here. Oh, we have a here. We have, this is the locator we built here. We're both unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitis, emitting its signal. Mallow, based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around the star system's sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Cassava, how can you suggest that? The eye's signal called out to summon us to this star system. Cassava, I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye's story, yet... We're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. So they spent a long time and effort. Let's... By the way. So that's... Oh, there's uh, Brittle Hollow. There's the eye. So the eye is just showing anywhere. Got it, got it, got it. We're going to go turn all those on. Conway, how should... Our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe. Uh, we know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Cassava, Giant Steep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And there's that quantum moon right in front of us, I think. And it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Yes, let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant Steep. Uh, Privet, as we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should con discontinue this search method, right? Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. 
Kanoi, I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Rami and Pyre about the technology they're developing? Ship log updated. Okay, so we can turn all these on at once here, I think. Oh, we haven't read this. Unable to determine orbit, no signal detected matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. We have to turn the eye off here. Hold on. Let's turn the eye off and see what happens. There, there's our entire solar system, huh? Oh, beautiful stuff, guys. So, I don't know what else we have to do here. Maybe nothing? Um, let's, let's head out this way and see what's going on. I think I want to get back to our ship. Oh, oh, and let's play this. I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um, in that ship in that the ship went down and I didn't s sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I uh, haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one. P, probably. P, probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to find a way down. See, if you play this game in any order that you do it, everything leads to the next thing, to the next thing, to the next thing. I love it. So there isn't a right or wrong path. Like, everything will tell you where you should go. Oh. I wish we could... Oh. That was loud as hell. Can we not get in? Oh man. Okay, so for fun, let's kind of just get some perspective. Here's the Southern Observatory. I feel like we're good to go here. Let's um make it back to our ship. Where is our ship? Ooh, I wonder if we have enough to actually make it there. That'd be fun. I think we do. We have oxygen, we have fuel. If I don't hit, yep. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna knock myself out. I feel like we could have done a lot worse damage there. Okay, so uh, let's view our ship log. Let's see what we got. We don't have... There's nothing else to do here, I don't think. So, Southern Observatory. The new, more sensitive locator the Nomai built in this observatory was unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Based on their knowledge of the quantum moon, the Nomai believed the eye was in a distant orbit around the sun. The Nomai decided to stop searching for the eye's signal and instead look for it visually by sending out a deep space probe. There were concerns that the probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. So we need to find out the directions from the probe. We need to get the readings right from the probe tracking module, which I think we've decided may have sunk out of the ocean depths. Uh, tornado simulation. Most cyclones on Giant Steep rotate clockwise. They, these are the cyclones that Omai used to send components into orbit. There are also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. So we've got that info. All right, guys. Well, I think it's time for us to do a couple things. We can head back to Giant Steep. Um, we can. Anytime we can go to the Bramble and just check, and just play around, but I don't know that we don't have a lot that's leading us to that, except that there's Feldspar there. 
But it does tell us that somewhere on the twins, um, which I might see here in a minute. Is that the twins? No, it's Timberheart. That's home. Um, oh, and we also have this sucker out here. The interloper. So we're going to want to check out the interloper and the twins. By the way, galaxy's just exploding. I feel like... I don't know if that used to be in the game before. What else do we have? Is that the... Okay, so there's our ember twin, by the way. Oh, oh. So I'm, what I want to do is this... And, um... There. Um... I'm autopiloting to it. And I think... Am I wrong? Can we can we um, land on it if we have a picture of it? Let's try, it, guys. All our quantum knowledge, right? Is it going to disappear on us? Am I missing something? Oh, we aren't missing anything. We aren't missing anything. Oh. Except it said, um... Oh, we're on it. Unidentified signal nearby. Quantum moon. Oh, we're, we're killing it, guys. Oh, where'd the ship go? Oh, what is this? Everything's quantum on here, so everything on the moon rotates. Let's see here. So we have the tower, we have a quantum shard. We have the quantum tower. What's this? This is showing where it's at right now. You guys. So, we are on the quantum moon. One, two, three, four. There are five places. What is that? That's the eye. Right? Let's, um... Let's shut the door. Let's read. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Yes, we did. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement, meaning everything reacts. And recall the rule of the sixth location. The eye is the sixth location. Now. Here's the deal. Check this out. What if we turn our light off? We're at five. Nope. I don't know how to get there. We're at the Ember Twin. Is it a timing? Three more? See, I, we keep moving and then we're staying in place because it's dark. Oh my god. How do we get to the, the eye? I want to get to the eye, guys. I feel like there's something I'm missing here. 
No, now we're back. I can't remember. How do we... We're in water, so now we're on... That... Oh my god. We're there. You guys. Except... How do we... I don't... We're, we're stuck somewhere. We need to be... Somewhere different, I think. I think we have to discover new things. I'm not understanding a concept of this. But look at the ground here. So we're on the quantum moon. If that makes sense. But where we're at here, there's no way to get out. Just can't remember if is this supposed to be rotating? I don't know. We're just gonna play this one out a little bit. I'm gonna be stupid with it. What if we... Hmm. They said something in there. We have to be at a certain location on the moon to have access. Oh. I think what that means then is... Hold on. I think I think I recall. Let's see here. Let's close it. We're, we're not going to get this figured out this time. But that's okay. We're not supposed to figure all this out anyway. There are other mysteries that we have to do to uh, solve this. And we're not trying to, quote, like, finish the game anyway. Okay, so. Run Brittle Hollow. Okay, so this place... Right. I thought we had to be on the southern. Oh, look what we got here. Oh! Ooh! A dead Nomai. Um... Can we get the, the tower to show up here? Because then when we open the tower on the eye, we'd be on the southern side. But I don't remember how to... Oh, I'm seeing myself? Oh. Is that considered the southern? Man, you guys, we've we've accomplished so much in this episode. I'm here, I'm watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. Solanum. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. Solanum, we don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole, just that this is true. 
As a child, I considered such unknowns sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. So, I... Right. I don't know. I'm... I'm so confused, though. Is this tower considered the s No. It's at the south, like... Here we go, guys. The music. Was that... I think what we need is just for that tower to show up right where we need it to. Oh. I'm gonna lose track of the, the whole thing here. See, this... I don't think this is the southern... No, we're still on the wrong side, so we need to figure out where we need to go for that, is what I think. It's crazy. We're about to get pulled into oblivion, I think. Man, we learned a lot, though. We have other stuff to still learn. Why aren't we moving? I think once we've made it to the eyes... Oh! Oh! All right, so, by the way, so that's crazy. We've learned a whole lot of stuff there. I think now, we, same as kind of like with the DLC we have going, we're going to set that aside. We're going to set this just aside a little bit, have that information. Let's go read our logs for a minute. Mm-hmm. So we have to find out where it's, tel it's telling us some information. I don't know. I can't... And do not spoil this. If you guys have played this game before and, like, don't tell me what I'm forgetting or what I'm missing and all that. Half the fun of this is, like, that this really is a rediscovery. I can't remember how all the pieces fit together. And um, I'm kind of enjoying it. It's almost like playing it again for the first time, and that's really what I wanted to do. Okay, so... The Quantum Moon. I was able to land on the surface of the Quantum Moon. I found a dead Nomai in a spacesuit near the South Pole. And that's Solanum's shuttle. Maybe that's Solanum then. A Nomai shrine that wanders the Quantum Moon. You have recalled that the rule of quantum imaging is inscribed next to a mural of a tower on the island. Uh, recall the rule of quantum entanglement is inscribed next to a mural of the quantum shard in a cave. Recall the rule of the sixth location is inscribed next to a mural of a tower hanging above a black hole. It also makes me wonder, they got the shuttle here. Solanum's shuttle. Do we need to use that shuttle again, too? Maybe we need this, the shuttle to go from the moon to the eye once we can get where we're supposed to go. I don't. I can't remember. I don't know. I love it, though. Um, Let's hop back in the seat, though. Let's push forward. Let's do some more exploring. Let's go to some new places, and let's do it all in the next episode.